Welcome along to Enfield Physics Tutor does another hard A-level question. This time we're looking at a question on moments. A bird sits on a uniform rod from vertical wires P and Q. First thing I would do is put in TP for the tension in P and TQ for the tension in Q. Now you could argue that you don't need to label those, you could just use P and Q, but I like to keep things as clear as possible. The rod has a weight W and is 15 centimetres long. It's a rod, a uniform rod, which means we can put in its centre of mass and add W because that's its weight, like so. The weight of the bird is 2W and acts at a distant X from P. OK, so you can see all that in the diagram. What is the value of X when the tension in P is half the tension in Q? So the tension in P is half the tension in Q. That therefore implies that 2TP equals TQ. That's going to prove useful for us. Now looking at the forces, the balance of the upward forces and the downward forces, we can see from the diagram that we have TP plus TQ going up and W for the rod plus 2W for the bird going down, which of course equals 3W. But we also know from up here that TQ is two lots of TP. So we can therefore write this as TP plus 2TP equals 3W which implies, of course, that 3TP equals 3W, which tells us, therefore, that TP equals W. So we now have a value for one of the tensions in the string relative to the, the bird. So next thing to do would be to think, let's take moments. Now, the reason I take moments is because when you've done a few of these questions, you get to realise the pattern. Balance the upwards and down, look for a moment. But let's take moments about Q. Now the reason we've picked Q is because, remember, we're after X here, and we have just worked out a value for TP. So if we take our moment at TQ, we can eliminate the force TQ. So let's take moments about Q. The bird is going to cause an anti-clockwise moment, as is the centre of mass, and the tension P will cause a clockwise moment. So let's bring together these moments. We'll start with the clockwise moment. The clockwise moment is going to be TP times 15 centimetres. Now I'm going to keep all the units in centimetres because they're all going to be the same centimetres. I know a moment is really Newton metres, but we can work with centimetres if they're all the same. So that's our clockwise moment, and that's going to be equal to our anti-clockwise moments. The first one of which is going to be W, times 7.5 for the centre of mass of the beam and that's going to be added to 2w for the bird multiplied by the distance the bird is from the pivot which is 15 minus x so let's expand this lot out and see what we have so we now have tp times 15 is going to be equal to 7.5 w plus 2w times 15 minus 2wx. Now tp we've just discovered up here is equal to w, so I can write w for this. Therefore we have 15w equals 7.5w plus 30w minus 2wx. Now, brilliantly here, we can see that every element of this equation has a W in it, which we can therefore cancel out. So let's get rid of our Ws, like so. That leaves us with 15 equals 7.5 plus 30 minus 2x. So now we need to re rearrange that even to get x on its own. So let's do that. Therefore, we get that 2x plus 15 equals 7.5 plus 30. So we then take the 15 onto the other side, which means we have 2x equals 7.5 plus 30 minus 15. Now, if you work out 7.5 plus 30 minus 15, 37.5 minus 15, you get 22 and a half. Therefore, 2x equals 22 which therefore means that x equals 11.25 centimetres. And that 
is the answer. Well, I hope you found that useful. Please leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if there's a question from one of the A-level papers that you'd like me to take a look at. 